My theme for today's book talk is, is truth really stranger than fiction? The first book I'm going to review is called Hitler Took Cocaine and Lenin Lost His Brain by Giles Milton. It's a collection of brief accounts of historical oddities that you may or may not have heard something about. There are tales of deviant behavior, war heroes, strange adventures, and survivor stories. I should warn you, some of these anecdotes are not for the faint of heart or the easily disturbed. This book is sort of a Ripley's Believe It or Not with footnotes and plenty of further reading. If you like your history on the bizarre side, you'll enjoy this book. My second book is called The 100-Year-Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared. This bestseller by Jonas Jonasson could be described as an international Forrest Gump meets Bob Newhart with the Peter Sellers characters Chance the Gardener and Inspector Clouseau thrown in. There's an elephant a big yellow bus, a red-haired beauty, and a few dead bodies, for the most part, accidentally caused. Wicked humor, 100 years uh, worth of famous and not so famous people, plenty of nonsense, and many explosions. And I haven't even mentioned the 100-year-old man yet. Need I say more? If you like books by Carl Hyacin or Lawrence Shames, or just need a break from the serious, this little gem of twisted satirical history and dry, sometimes quite hilarious, Nordic humor might be the ticket. So, back to my original question. Is truth really stranger than fiction? I'd say that depends on the truth and the fiction. I'll let you decide. <laughs>